Number one, the instructor refuses to teach you certain techniques because they are too deadly. Number two, the dojo's phone number is printed on the back of your uniform. Number three, the diploma shows Japanese language that even Japanese do not understand. Number four, the dojo sign has the words traditional, commando, classical, effective, 100%, original, Okinawan, dragon, Japanese, secret, and elite in the same sentence. Number five, they are camouflage belts. Number six, your sensei has registered his fists as deadly weapons with the local police authorities. Number seven, you practice harnessing your key chi power. Number eight, your sensei teaches crescent kicks as disarming techniques for handguns and knives. Number nine, you train defense against baseball bats by blocking with your forearm. Number 10, when you practice self-defense, it's always based on a scenario where your opponent steps towards you with a straight punch and then leaves his or her arm dangling in front as you execute 5-10 different finishing moves. Number 11. There is no resistance allowed during self-defense drills because any resistance means your arm will get broken. Number 12. The instructor is overweight and does not warm up with the students. Number 13. Your instructor prefers to use Grandmaster, Master or Sensei rather than his real name, both in print and person. 14. The instructor says they can't, won't be taken to the ground. Number 15. Your Grandmaster rarely teaches stuff hands-on. He has assistance for that. Number 16. Your sensei won't spar fight with you because he doesn't want to hurt you. Number 17. You are not allowed to compete. It is not honorful. Number 18. You are required to compete. It is honorful. Number 19. Your style was created by your sensei, yet it's still traditional, and it has several special advantages over all other styles. Also, most likely the name of the style is absurdly long. Number 20. Your sensei has never been in a real fight. Number 21. There are forbidden techniques that only certain students are taught. Number 22. You are never taught applications to moves. Number 23. If you are taught applications to moves, they never work, except when your sensei does them. Number 24. The techniques work perfectly against the black belts, but do not work against beginners, because the beginners don't know yet when they are supposed to fall. Number 25. The dojo advertises as non-contact karate. Number 26. You are rewarded a black belt in two, four years. Number 27. Your sensei is a grandmaster with 7th dan or above, yet is 40 years or younger. Number 28. Your sensei is a 12th dan or above, although only 10 dans exist. Number 29. Gradings are 15 minutes long. Number 30. Nobody ever fails at grading. Number 31. There are black belts under the age of 16. Number 32. The instructor demands respect. He doesn't earn it. Number 33. Time-based progression through ranks rather than achievement-based. Number 34. Cross training is discouraged. Number 35. You are often taught philosophical concepts, strategy, or theory, but not actual application. Number 36. Doing stuff that's correct is seen as more important than doing stuff that actually works. Number 37. Questioning the style, teacher, lineage, or dojo is a big no. Number 38. The words os and osu are spoken often. Number 39. The instructor talks down about MMA, mainly because his or her style always gets their asses kicked in MMA. Number 40. They teach defense against three or more attackers where the attackers cannot strike or are all armed. 